Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? What do you got going to your grow? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about that after the show. Right now, we should just get into the show because uh, yesterday we were talking about one shot. We were talking about what you should use in addition to one shot. You can use just one shot, but if you wanted to use some other stuff, what should you use? Spoiler alert, it was Herculean Harvest, some other stuff too. Um, but I also said if you had any questions about one shot, put those in the comments. And there was a ton of good questions, and I'm working on shows about several of those questions to answer those. But to answer those, but what happened when I was doing that is I came across uh, what I think is kind of a gem. I was looking at one of the old viewer question shows with Scott, and someone asked the question: Do does one shot affect the PPMs in your slurry test? And uh, yeah, yeah, it does a little bit. And it's kind of a little bit of a thing to, to, to understand about how that all works. And a lot of people have mentioned that in the past. So I thought, why not bring that up? Because there was never a separate episode where we talked just about that. So question, do slurry numbers change if you're using one shot? Watch the video, me and Scott talking about it, and I'll talk to you after. Uh, Bart Johnson says, what about slurry test if you have one shot added to the soil? Now, we've talked about this before, but uh, how does the... How did we answer that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, the one shot doesn't have a lot of effect on the slurry test. It any. will, though. I mean, it's yeah. going to be... There is an active ion exchange there, so when okay. you put it in there, it's going to read higher. It's not going to... I mean, <clears throat> it's going to read higher, but can stay consistently higher. So if you're used to, like, 2 to 350... You might see 450 to 550, but it's going to maintain that 450 to 550 because it's being slowly broken down throughout uh, time. Oh, okay. So don't be alarmed. I mean, if you go in there and it's 900 parts per million, then shit. You got a problem. You put too much in and now you better just water uh, okay. heavy. But generally, just kind of add one to 200 parts per million to your acceptable slurry range. So if you're used to 250, 350, 400 range, and that's always been where the health is driven, you're mm -hmm. feeding at 1500, it's coming out to 250, 300 that's your norm, then just be prepared for 350 to 450 or 450 to 550 as your new norm with the one shot. Because that one shot isn't spiking. It's not right. releasing okay. in these hard levels. They're literally just slowly breaking down, slowly feeding the, the root zone, and the microbes are slowly digesting. So it's a very gentle 450. So could I be underfeeding and not know as far as my liquid because I'm getting a, a falsely slightly higher slurry test from well, my one shot. if you have one shot in there, though, you're not underfeeding because they're eating. True, but... I, but I we, mean, if your plants look weird and yeah. starving, then uh -huh. look. But I could maybe be pushing... I mean, what I'm saying is that I could be doing this amount of, uh, uh, this amount of, of liquid or this amount of liquid and still have the same... Same not reading, necessarily, because no. if you're at 1,400 parts per million of liquid going yeah. in and you got 450 parts per million of one shot in there mm. and that's just too yeah. much food, uh -huh. this is going to go to 650. True. Or 750. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to start to see the plants are upset. They're overfed. Or if you've been giving them, you know, 800 parts per million of nutrition, there's 450 of one shot in the soil, and all of a sudden it's coming at 400 or 380. Then they're not getting enough. It's still going to. If you're at 450, they're, they're eating. Okay. They're eating. My number's the still going to drop, no they're, matter what. I'm yeah. going to be able. To, I'm going to see a range, and that's just what we're talking about all the time. Is you're going to see a range. You're going to feel comfortable with your range. That range may be slightly different because you've added the one shot. Yeah. But you will still have a, 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 a viable range. number that you can work with. Yeah. Okay, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Found it informative and entertaining. Um, I think that's about it for that. But uh, one shot. Let's talk some more about one shot or anything else you want to talk about. Questions in the comments, conversation in the comments, and then we'll uh, move on from there. It's the show for today. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.